In the previous video, we've talked about electrolysis using active electrodes for purification of copper. Now we'll use another application when we do electroplating, where we want to coat an object with a layer of a metal. So in this case, we will use silver as an example. So at the anode, Will be the source of the plating material. In this case, we will use silver. At the cathode will be the object that we want to be plated. So if you want a ring to be covered with silver or we want a spoon to be covered with silver, we will put the ring or the spoon at the cathode. The electrolyte should contain the metal ion. So in this case, electrolyte must contain silver ion. So we have this setup, the battery terminals, negative, positive. The negative terminal will be where, for example, we want to have the ring coated. The ring will be connected to the negative terminal. Right, the positive terminal, the cathode will be where the supply of metal comes from. Now, we have silver nitrate solution silver nitrate solution so let's put in hydroxides and hydrogen from water so the negative terminal will attract the positive ions in this case silver will be preferentially discharged into silver metal and it will coat the ring here. On this end, we have silver metal. This is an active electrode. It will not discharge or oxidize the anions. What happens is actually it will oxidize itself. So the silver here will form silver ion, okay, which will be release into the electrolyte so as time goes on the anode will get smaller and smaller and the ring will have a coating of silver metal so it's important to remember that the object that you want to be plated with it should be negative terminal so that it can attract the positive metal ions and of course the anode should be the same metal that you want the plating to be carried out with so if you want to coat it with silver the anode must supply or replenish the silver and finally the electrolyte if you want to coat it with silver the electrolyte should contain the silver ions 